Remember when you're multiplying an equation with fractions in it, the first thing you want to do is find the common denominator, multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator so you can em eliminate the denominators altogether and not have fractions anymore. So that's what we're going to do here. We can see that the denominator, we have a t plus 6 and a t plus 4. Those are totally different factors, so you need to multiply both sides of the equal sign by t plus 6 and t plus 4, the quantity t plus 4. Okay, multiply both sides on the left. Uh, the left side of the equal sign and the right side of the equal sign. Okay, now remember we're going to need to take both of these and distribute them in to both terms over here on the left side, this fraction and this whole number. Okay, so over here on the left, we're going to have a t plus 6 times the quantity t plus 4 times the quantity t plus 3 over t plus 6. Remember, we can put this all over 1 so we can see it's what's going to multiply together and simplify. And we're going to need to do the same thing and just multiply both of the quantity t plus 6 and the quantity t plus 4 by 1. We're going to set that equal to, and we could go ahead and we could rewrite this, or we could simplify the right side since we don't need to distribute it. And we can see that we have a t plus 4 here that will cancel out with this t plus 4 over here. And you're going to be left with t plus 6 times t plus 6. Let's see if I can write that really small over here. Okay. So we can go ahead and we can see that we can simplify this group here with a t plus 6 in the numerator and the t plus 6 in the denominator denominator will simplify. Those will both simplify to 1. t plus 6 over t plus 6 is 1. We're left with the quantity t plus 4 times the quantity t plus 3. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to multiply these together. So um, you're going to get t times t, which is t squared. And then you're going to take this t and you're going to multiply it um, By the 3, it gives you 3t. Then you're going to take the 4 and distribute it here. So that's going to be 4 times t, that's 4t. And so those will add together to give you 7t. And then you're going to go ahead and take the 4 and multiply it by the 3, and that gives you 12. Okay, so now we do the same thing to our next set of numbers here, So, because we have plus here, and then these two are multiplied together. So t times t is t squared, and then t times 4, that's 4t, and then we have the 6 times t, that's 6t, and that adds to give, you a, give us a 10t. And then 6 times 4 is 24. We're going to do the same thing over here to the t plus 6 quantity multiplied by the quantity of t plus 6. So t times t is t squared. Our middle terms are going to be the same, right? 6 times t is 6t. And 6 times t here is 6t. So it's going to give us 12t. And then we have 6 times 6, which is 36.
Okay, so now let's go ahead and simplify the stuff over here on the left. We have t squared plus t squared, which is 2t squared. 7t plus 10t is 17t. And then 12 plus 24 is 36. And that's equal to t squared plus 12t plus 36. So we can see here we have our t squareds. Even when I subtract t from both sides, I'll still be left with a quadratic. So I'm going to go ahead and work on moving everything over to the other side. So I'm going to end up, I want to have 0 over here on the right. So I'm going to need to get rid of each of these terms. So I'm going to need to subtract a t squared from both sides to get rid of this t squared. Just remember if I do it to one side, I have to do the same thing to the other. I need to get rid of the plus 12, so I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. I'm going to put it over here, minus 12 on the left side as well with its like term. And then over here, the plus 36, I need to get rid of it, so I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. Again, I'm going to put each of those under their like terms. Okay, so let's go ahead and combine those like terms here now. See what we have left here. And this is going to give us t squared plus 5t. Right, and then this gives us 0, so that's gone and the right side also equals 0. So here when we go to factor we see we only have two terms. They both have a t in them so we can common factor out the t. So then you set each of those factors equal to 0 so you get t equals 0 or t plus 5 is 0 which means that t equals a negative 5. Now we have these two solutions. Now we want to find out if they're both our solutions. We want to double check and make sure that those solutions were not one of our restricted values. So to decide if what our restricted values are, remember we would have taken the denominators of our original fraction, which is t plus 6 and t plus 4, set each of those equal to 0. So we could say so t plus 6 equals 0, so t cannot equal a negative 6. And then if we take t plus 4, the other denominator, set it equal to 0, we get that t does not equal a negative 4. So our solutions are not one of our restricted values. Oops. So you can see Yeah, I'll just rewrite it over here since it's being weird for me. T equals 0 and T equals a negative 5 for both solutions.